Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in finance growth and decay. This lesson we're going to be looking at simple depreciation and what simple depreciation is it's also known as straight line depreciation but it's basically when an asset loses value over a period of time. So depreciation is when you say for example you buy a car and you buy a car for I don't know let's make it a hundred thousand rand at the end of the month, your car will be valued at something less than 100,000 Rand. At the end of the year, it will be even less. As the car gets older, so it depreciates in value. So an asset as loses value over a period of time. Now, a straight line depreciation is when an asset loses value, but it uses the simple interest. So it does it as a simple interest formula, but you'll notice that instead of a plus, which would be increasing in value, we're using a minus. So we're using a minus to get a simple depreciation. Where again, your A would be the amount of money that you'll get for your asset after a number of years. P is the principal, the amount of money we paid for the asset. I is the interest in the decimal form and N is your number of years that we have our asset for. So let's get to grips with this by doing an example or two. It says a car is valued at 185,000 Rand. It depreciates at 12% per annum using straight line depreciation. Calculate the value of the car after seven years. So our formula is A is equal to P, 1 minus IN because it's depreciation. In this case, our principal, the amount of money that we spent on our asset, was 185,000. Our I is 12, but remember we have to get it into decimal form, so we divide by 100, so it becomes 0.12. And because this is straight line depreciation and it's per annum, we just have that N is equal to 7. Therefore, the amount of money that this car is valued at after seven years is going to be 185,000 times by 1 minus 0.12 times by 7. And I'm again going to put nice big square brackets around. So we get out our calculator and we say, okay, fine, let's go through this. We've got 1 minus bracket. 0.12 times 7 close bracket equals 0.16 and then we times our 185, 1, 2, 3 and we get 29,600. So this car is only valued at 29,600 Rand after 7 years. So sure, that's quite steep hey, for car depreciation. Let's look at another example. A small business buys a photocopier for 9,000 Rand. The owner needs to know how much you will be able to sell it for after four years. He knows that it will depreciate at 7% per annum on a straight line basis. How much will he be able to sell it for? So again, we've got A is equal to P, 1 minus I to the N, I N. Your principal is the 9,000 Rand we spent on the photocopier. The I is your interest at 7 divided by 100, which is 0.07, and your N is 4 years. And the reason that the person might want to, the owner might want to sell his photocopier is because he might want to buy a new one and he needs to know if he can use some of this money to repay to pay for the replacement photocopier. So let's look at our equation. Your P is 9,000, 1 minus 0 0.07 times by 4. And again, we need some nice square brackets there to help us work it out. And we're going to get our calculator out. And I always do this bit first. I go 1 minus bracket 0 0.07 times 4. 4 close bracket equals that's 0 0.72 times by 9,000 so he's going to get 6,000 
480 Rand for his photocopier, which isn't too bad, not too bad after four years. And that is how easy, simple depreciation is or straight line depreciation. So please go make sure you understand how to do it, then go do some questions at the end of the section in the assessment. Have a great day. Thank <phone> you. <rings>